ever since I added the jack plate onto the boat, which the main purpose was to set the motor back a little bit so I had room on my seat to steer, I've been having an issue where I can't get the motor and the rear end of the boat high enough out of the water to plane correctly. So what it ended up doing was lowering my top speed a couple miles per hour, um, which isn't that big of a deal normally, but we're sitting around 13 to 14, and when you're only going 15 to 16 to start with, it feels like a pretty big difference. This hydrofoil actually came on the motor when I purchased it, and I took it off originally because usually hydrofoils are used to fix a problem. They're not usually just a general performance upgrade that everyone should be doing. So my thoughts are that if I can use this hydrofoil to lift the rear of the boat out of the water some, it's gonna get us a better cruising speed. So I'm hoping that the hydrofoil is gonna raise everything up out of the water and help us plane a little bit better and might even gain us some speed back. For today's video, I'm testing whether or not a hydrofoil makes a difference on a boat. So before we get on the water and actually do some testing with the hydrofoil, in its trimmed up position right now, it's a great place to show you guys how it actually works. Most hydrofoils install the same way. They get bolted through your cavitation plate on the back of your motor here. So as you can see here, there's two bolts on the one side, two bolts on the other. There are round headed screw caps on the bottom. So it keeps everything nice and flush. And uh, this thing's pretty solid on there. So the way it actually works is similar to an airplane wing with the water flowing over the top of it helps provide lift to the actual motor and raises the whole boat out of the water. All right, with everything ready to go, let's go ahead and get this to the lake and see if it makes a difference. All right, y'all, we just got out here to the lake. We're all rigged up, I'm about to pull in, go test this motor out. All right, guys, we just got out here on the water. We're just idling around a little bit, about to test out the hydrofoil. Our top speed so far has been around 13 to 14 miles an hour before the hydrofoil. Our top speed before the jack plate was around 15. So if we even touch 15, we'll know the hydrofoil has been an improvement. If we go over 15, I'm gonna be a really happy camper. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it does. All right guys, well we're back here in the garage after running the motor for the day. Uh, some final thoughts. So one thing that I noticed immediately was that the boat was much more stable while it was on plane. Um, that's one of the benefits of using the hydrofoil is that it'll keep the side to side movement while you're moving um, a little bit more stable. So one of the things I noticed for sure was that we did gain some top end speed by using the hydrofoil. Um, I noticed immediately as soon as we took off that the rear of the boat um, had raised up out of the water, I would say a good five, six inches than where it was before. So rather than barely touching 14, usually around 12 to 13, uh, we were consistently hitting over 14 miles an hour, which I thought was a pretty nice improvement. I didn't get to the 15 and higher that I was hoping for, but I still do think I have room to raise the motor up a little bit through a taller jack plate. Uh, so that's something I'm gonna be experimenting with in the future, and I'll definitely report back if I find out that that works. In this scenario, for this boat and the issues that it was having, the hydrofoil was definitely a good upgrade, and if I hadn't already had it on the motor, I probably would have bought one, and if I did, I would have been happy with that purchase. 
So overall, if you're wondering about whether or not you should do a hydrofoil, you have to think about the factors that you're trying to correct here. Uh, hydrofoils provide extra lift with your motor. If you're having an issue where your bow is riding way too high or you're not able to get the stern out of the water, a hydrofoil could be the answer for you. All right, guys. Well, if you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. If you guys want to see more about the John boat, I got some cool things coming up as well as a whole bunch of fishing this summer. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.